Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by if you're new here. Today it will be parrot video and we will talk about must-have to take care of um, African greys. If you want to see more, please continue to watch this video. I'll get started very shortly. show you a top uh, must-have that I have in uh, my house to take care of this mystery yellow uh, of course it's not gonna be everything but I'll try to show you the uh, my must-have um, in my opinion um, that you will need to take care of this lovely bird <laughs> um, so the first thing is toys um, you probably heard or you already know that African greys are most intelligent birds and they need um, constantly uh, to entertain their um, brain. So lots of toys uh, are must have. Um, you can um, go to my description or link here for um, videos about toys. Um, I have a video where I kind of put um, break down um, type of toys, but if you want to watch that. So just um, if you already have a, a parrot, you probably know what type of toys um, he or she likes. Uh, but if you're a new owner, um, just kind of um, pick the basic one. And again, you can watch my video um, of type of toys. Um, this Mr. Yolo, he likes shreddables he loves shreddables and you might see that he has not a lot of toys in his cage but that's because he is not um, sitting in a cage all day long um, i can show you quickly he has a perch which is kind of that way and he has all kinds of toys there um, toys are must for African grace. All right, the second thing is large cage and um, preferably a separate play gym or some kind of play gym, um, maybe on top of the cage. Um, like you can see here, he has um, pretty, it's not a large cage, but again, he, um, he only in a cage for, maybe uh, at night of course and during the day he most of the time outside either on his play gym or he's um, hanging out with me in other rooms um, and he has like separate gyms um, around the house but the lar if you're planning to have a bird in a cage for a long time um, like maybe for a few hours a day at least the large case is the must um, I think the minimum um, you can the minimum is three feet two feet by four feet but of course the larger are better and um, preferably uh, to have some kind of gym so the bird can stretch wings exercise I know some um, um, cages have like a play gym on the top um, or um, kind of like um, maybe inside as well uh, but if you have space in uh, your house or and um, um, you know to spend extra money uh, on a separate play gym I think that will be better because you can go in a separate uh, play gym stretch the wings and exercise that well uh, that also prevents boredom, blocking etc um, so the third thing is food um, and you probably um, tell me hey this is obvious right so if you have a pet you're supposed to have a food yes it is but uh, what I'm talking here is to have at least um, um, some um, 
you know some extra so you make sure you don't run out kind of like you know if um, you have a pantry and you stock there a little bit extra stuff um, same here for pets so you, if you um, feed them dry food or if you feed them um, like a, a mixed food make sure um, you have extra bag in your um, house just in case you don't run out one morning and you will be like running around to one of the pet stores um, just try to avoid that and make sure you have some food um, for your pet just in case um, you know the store won't have it or it will be out of stock and things like that uh, the other thing uh, specifically for this uh, type of birds. Uh, they are very dusty uh, birds and if you can invest in a uh, good quality air purifier that will be great. Um, I do have a um, um, room. Um, I can link it below if you're interested. Um, it's called um, Rabbit Air um, and I keep it in a room where he hang out the most. Um, like I said, it, the, these birds are very dusty and if you can invest in uh, air purifier, that will be um, good for the bird and for your family as well. The next thing is travel cage. And you might, you might think, well, why do I need to invest in travel cage if I'm not traveling? Well, your bird's um, supposed to go to the vet um, um, at least once a year just for like a regular checkups um, so um, that's um, that's why the travel case will come handy because um, you know you don't want to carry this huge cage with you it's probably not gonna fit in a car and you don't want to um, you know put it in a um, unsafe place um, so the bird might ha so the bird might have chance to escape so the travel cage is a must uh, because even though you don't travel um, you probably will have to travel to the vet and a uh, travel cage is the secure way to transport your parrot from your house to the vet and back home um, spray bottle and or water bottle will be the next um, so like I said, uh, these guys are very dusty and, um, you know, you probably, um, you can, um, put the bird in a shower or if, uh, the bird is not kind of used to the shower, um, I would recommend them um, invest in a good quality, uh, spray bottle so you can mess them every day. Um, and you know, or if it's like, um, um your new bird it will you will kind of like get a bond with them and try not to scare by just dumping the bird in the shower or you know try to dump that in um like water in a in a bird so um try to um find a good quality um uh spray or mist bottle and um um you know shower your bird for every day or twice a day depending on the season and where you live that's all for this video um let me know if you are uh, african gray owners and what would you recommend as must have and of course like i mentioned earlier this is not all must have this is just the must must have i would say there is plenty of more um, and let me know if you want to um, see more must-haves about African greys or other parrots and comment down below if you um, are a parrot owner and you have your must-have maybe for other parrots as well. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.